Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely, and I am going to share with you a pretty neat story from the early days of disc golf. Uh, in fact, we're going to go back to 1982 for this one. And uh, by the way, you can read about this in my book, Scott Stokely Grown Up Disc Golf. Uh, you can also listen to the audiobook, uh, Scott Stokely Grown Up Disc Golf. Uh, but I'm going to tell the story from a very important location, uh, to me anyways, because right here is Will Rogers State Park, home of my first Frisbee tournament, 1982. I was 13 years old. And I say Frisbee tournament because back then, most tournaments weren't Frisbee golf tournaments. Later named disc golf for the kids out there. Uh, but they weren't Frisbee golf tournaments. They were Frisbee tournaments. You played a bunch of different events, and one of those events at a Frisbee tournament may have been Frisbee golf. May not have been. There were tournaments without uh, Frisbee golf at them, but this particular tournament had Frisbee golf. Now, we played 18 holes of golf right here. The Jan Sobel of Destiny Discs designed this course at Will Rogers State Park, and there were no baskets. Now, baskets had existed since 1976, but like basically nobody uh, that I know of, I mean, there may have been a couple, but basically nobody had 18 portable baskets. I'm not even sure they made portable baskets then. Uh, players would actually pour a concrete sleeve in their backyard if they wanted to have a real basket. Or the clever people figured out you'd take a, a spare tire or an empty tire and fill it with concrete and you would actually have a portable disc golf basket. Except it weighed like 200 pounds and you had to like roll it around with the help of three friends. But it was portable. But anyways, uh, we're playing the Frisbee golf tournament here and at <laughs> at each of the holes at 17 of the 18 holes there was uh, two pieces of tape wrapped around a tree or wrapped around a pole and to hole out you had to hit the tree or pole between the tape now this offered some problems because back in those days uh, in the wild west days of the sport um, at least in california anyways how well you shot may have been determined in part by whether or not you had friends on your card. <laughs> because the common argument was, I thought that hit. Well, your friends heard it hit too. <laughs> but if you didn't have friends on the card, they may not have heard it hit. Uh, this was almost considered gamesmanship back in the early days, right? We were still making this game up at the time, and we didn't know what part of the sport was the, uh, the ethics and, and honor of golf versus we're the NFL, and if, if they don't call you for holding, you didn't hold. Uh, we, you know, we hadn't figured this out yet. But I said 17 of the holes had this. The best hole on the course, and I may be getting this wrong. I was 13 years old at the time. But I think it was right there. I do believe uh, you didn't have to hit a pole. You had to land your Frisbee on top of that bench. Now, here's why that was the best hole on the course didn't matter if there were friends of yours or enemies of yours on your card. It was either on the bench or it wasn't. It was definitive. It was basically the problem that the pole hole solved, Ed Hedrick's pole hole. It was no longer subjective whether or not you hold out. The disc is in the basket or it's not in the basket. Pretty cut and dry, but that's not the way it always was back then. Uh, and by the way, afterwards, we went down to the beach. We played whiz back and freestyle and maximum time aloft and through distance at Santa Monica Beach in front of thousands of people. And I won first place in the juniors division. Um, I was the only junior there. <laughs> but I won. And uh, at the award ceremony, Jan Sobel said, in winning the juniors division was Scott Stokely. And he gave me a whole big bag full of, you know, destiny discs. So it was like my first Frisbee tournament. And I won. Uh... It's my final tip, my final pro lesson for the day. The best way to win a tournament, be the only person in your division, and your odds are pretty good. Uh, but hope you all enjoyed the story, everybody. More coming.